Hello Mountain Valley Kids, it's Miss Patrice and I'm so excited to see you all again just like this in your own homes. Well, we're going to start off today by singing a song together in worshiping Jesus. So wherever you're at, go ahead and stand up and sing this song with me. Well, is there something that 
I can help you guys with? Hmm? Oh, you're here to make a discovery? Well, I will say you came to the right place because a science lab is the perfect place to make new discoveries. Well, let me introduce myself properly to you guys. My name is Dr. Sally Wagon Berthameter. Try saying that three times fast, guys. But you can just call me Dr. Sally for short. So the purpose of my lab here is to uncover the hidden wonders of God. So where did I get this great idea? Glad you guys asked. One day, I was, you know, just doing sciencey things, looking at lab journals, making things explode, you know, that sort of thing. And I just thought to myself, where did all of this stuff and all of these elements come from? And I had this lab partner at the time, and he told me it came from God. Wow, did you guys know that? So of course I had to find out for myself. So I started reading God's Word, the Bible, and as I was reading, it happened. I came across this verse in Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Let me just read it to you guys, because it's awesome. This is what it says. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature, so they have no excuse for not knowing him. Wow, guys, we can see God's invisible qualities through the things that he created. All we have to do is look closely and examine them. So that's why I started doing these experiments, to find the hidden wonders of God. So, would you guys like to help me with an experiment today? Right. Let's do one. So today I have different colored water in cups. So here's one. I've got some blue water. We're going to set this right here. I have some green water. It's really dark, but it's dark green. And I have some yellow water right here. And lastly, I have a cup of red water. Awesome. We're going to put it right here. Now, what I'm going to do is get four different flowers, and we're going to put them in every single cup. And we're going to see if anything happens to these flowers when they're being soaked in different colored water. Do you guys think anything's going to happen? Does it even matter what color water they're being soaked in? Let's find out. Look at this, guys. The flowers actually started changing colors. I mean, the flower that was in the green water, it started turning green. And the one that was in the blue water, it started turning blue. Each flower changed into the color that they were being soaked in. Isn't that crazy? Now, I wonder what this actually reveals to us about God. You know, this experiment actually reminds me of another story in the Bible about Moses. Let's take a look at the story. After the whole fiasco with Israel, Moses went up to the mountain a second time. And you know that was not easy for him. When he got up to the mountain, God told him, take two stones and write the law that I have given you on the stones. So Moses did that. Moses then took the two stones down the hill. But when he got there, they were so afraid of Moses because his face was shining so brightly because he had been in the presence of God. So Moses' face was shining because he had been with God. Do you guys know what our science experiment and Bible story tells us about God? That he is all-consuming. Can you guys say that with me? Say all-consuming. Good job. When we are in God's presence, we become and look like him. Just like these flowers started looking like the water they were being soaked in, Moses' face shone the glory of God because he had spent time with him. Now I wonder, could this same thing be possible of us today? Hmm, you know what, I think we should check over with my friend Dr. Fizzle over in the Hypothesis Lab and see what he has to say about this. Let's go. Oh. Mountain Valley kids, it's so good to see you here in the hypothesis lab. Oh, my name is Dr. Fizzle. I was just 
researching some of the wonders of God's Word. Here, let me share some of what I'm reading with you. From Psalm 16, 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Well, let's do some hand motions to help us remember. You show me the paths of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16 dot dot 11. Now, if we were going to join the Royal Academy of Science, we would have to do it in a ridiculous British accent. Let's do it like that. Ready? You show me the paths of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16 dot dot 11. Psalm 16 dot dot 11. Thank you, Dr. Fizzle. So today, what we've learned is that whatever we're spending time on, whatever we're soaking our hearts and our mind in is going to be what we look like. So that means if we are angry, say your little brother took your favorite toy and you just have all these angry thoughts in your heart towards him, guess what? You're going to look angry to everybody. They're going to know what's going on in your heart. So if we want to look like Jesus, then what do we do? We can spend time with Jesus. We can read his word. We can talk to him. We can dwell in his presence and live it every day. And what we've learned from our scripture today is that in God's presence, it's fullness of joy. That means we're going to look joyful and we're going to be joyful. So, Thank you guys for helping me discover that God is all-consuming. And if you want to learn something new about God next week, then join me back in the lab for another hidden discovery. See you next time, guys! He's the one who makes the sun shine. He's the one who puts the moon in the sky.